My skin is too thick for it to penetrate, but I guess for a little baby clownfish, this is too much. Hey, what's up Reefers? Today I want to tell you a little bit about the 10 gallon budget nano tank build. So in a previous video, you know that I attempted to add a baby clownfish that's like about this tiny bit into the tank. After three days, the clownfish was just gone, disappeared. I couldn't find him anywhere. So since then, I stepped away from YouTube for about a month and a half. And during this time, I actually attempted one more baby clownfish that's like same size, tiny. And I got them again from Fantastic, one of my favorite local fish stores. Once again, this clownfish is perfectly healthy, swimming around, eating, and then go right into the anatomy on the first night. I was over the moon. This one we thought was perfect. So imagine my horror when the clownfish disappeared on the first night. I couldn't believe it. I felt terrible and I want answers. Same deal, disappeared without a trace. And that's when Emily suggested we go in with flashlight just to see what exactly is going on if there's a body in the tank or what. Flashback. Fuck! We find out who it was. It was this Bini Belly Mini Max. Look at the trunk. You can see, you can kind of make out the clownfish pattern. You see that right below the motherfucker. Well, okay guys, so Bini Belly Mini Max. Yeah, so I guess that's what happened to Shark Bait as well. It is really hard to see, but when, when uh, like the oral just float up, you see the clownfish pattern just a little bit. So it turns out it was the Belly Mini Max carpet anemone. These are these are little guys, little little piece of shape uh, anemones. I see sexy shrimp walk across them and get their foot stuck, but they can always pull out. So I didn't think too much about it. But turns out they are strong enough to take down baby clownfish. Realizing my terrible mistake, I immediately set out to pull out all these Belly Mini Max carpet anemones. Flashback. Guys, I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna remove the three Belly Mini Max carpet anemone from the 10 gallon budget nano. I tried the ice cube method, not much luck, especially since it's so embedded in the rock work. So next best thing, I'm just gonna remove the rock and try to chip the rock off. Before we move rock spawn, or your phileas in general, of any fleshy corals, we don't wanna make sure they retract a little bit because tissue is easier to rip when they're all expanded like this. But you know what, we don't have time, so let's go. Okay, there you go. Oops, bye. So I'm just gonna drop this dude right here first. Okay, I'm gonna lift this. I gotta remember how to put this whole thing back because I really like this cave. Oh man, that anemone is actually, shit. You see on this side, there's that anemone in the middle. <laughs> it's actually stuck onto both. And man. Get it out. Yeah, but. Check it. We gotta Check be real gentle, this is real bad. Oh. Okay, I mean with bubble tip, I don't, I'm not as careful because they heal so quickly, but with these carpets, they don't... Okay. Oh, there we go. No, that's fine. That's clean. That's clean. That's actually... I'm going to try to get that piece first. Because um, right now, part of the foot is exposed. That's perfect. Uh, right here, you'll see that there's another piece right here, right up here, right? This is the other one I'm trying to get out. <laughs> Alright, man. You know what? Let me, let me try the uh, ice cube one more time. Now that we get the food. So people are saying that if you put an ice cube at the anemone's foot, it's gonna retract and react and shrink up a little bit. I mean, my finger feels like the one. Oh, two thousand years later. No. Nope. Not happening. So I think I'll just do what I probably should just do: lift the whole rock out and just chisel this little piece of rock. Go. Oh, it's still warm. It's Where? on your hand. Where? Ah! No, stop. Stop. That's not funny. <laughs> Sexy shrimp. Jump ship. Yo, crap. Go. Bruh. <laughs> and here's the. Oh, man. Look at the kryptonite candy cane. It's completely uh, uh, uh. overrun by these uh, pallies. Alright, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna take all their shirt. What's that? Sexy stream. Yeah, oh, shrimp. he's Come coming on. out. Sexy shrimp. What the shit, man? Come yeah, on, dude, go. They stay there. Is that it? This dude? Mm-hmm. In here. Bro, go. Go. What are you doing? <laughs> Brother. Go. This one too. Go. No, what are you... Don't come back. 
crap! <laughs> Bro. Get there. Go, go. Oh, so cute. Go, 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 go here. No, bro. <laughs> Oops. Okay, it's gone. And that's it? Clean? Maybe. Oh, no. Where? There's one. Here. Oh, okay. Stay sexy. Ooh. All right, here we go. Let's go downstairs. Hi, Mac. All right, so these days, um, if the anemone doesn't just come out really easily, I don't mess with it. I just pretty much chip the rock and try to grab the anemone with a piece of rock. Uh, I figure it's just less stress for both the anemone and for me. I'm gonna stop talking because there's some pallies here. I don't want to get these. Eat it. <laughs> this is pally toxin. This is actually toxic. Close your eyes. It's gonna okay. get in your eyes. Yeah. This one is in a perfect spot, really easy to kind of break off. And I got a little bit of tank water right here. Now this is a tricky one. Oh, look at that Bristol worm crawling out. You see that? No, oh, so cute. Not cute. This is the one that ate really? the clownfish, yeah. So, let's see. Try to see. Well, I guess to be fair, just doing what it does. Um, see? It just came off. Ooh, it just came off. Perfect. Yay. And it feels guilty. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Why is it still so Ooh, tiny? Shit. It so ate the crownfish. This Find dude. the crownfish. This little dude. Save this. the crownfish. Alright, so this is good. We see some like Bristol worm right here. We see some amphipods, little shrimp guy down there. Um, so on to the last one. Be awesome if this guy just kind of come right off too. Oh my god, there's a Bristol worm right here too. Wow, so Jesus big. Christ, that's what she said. And this one, it's not, it's not letting go. No, 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 it has like spikes on the side. <laughs> and the cactus, they'll let go. Okay. This one I have to chip off. Oh, there's another tiny one here too, almost touched it. key part is finding a good way to bang it to get that little piece off without breaking the whole thing. I think right here is good. I should be a sculptor. Huh. I'm a renaissance man. Huh. Maybe have to put it on a goggle audience. No, it's too orange. Right here is good. Right here is good. Alright, right here. I think that should be alright. Ready? Mm -hmm. Renaissance man. Ooh. Perfect tea. Perfecto. Ding. Call me inappropriate Leonardo. Ciao. <laughs> okay, Emily's using the pressure cooker for the first time by herself, just freaking out. So we got the Belly Mini Max carpet Nami safely in this box. We're gonna now transfer them to this little temporary holding uh, container. So that is water flow here as well. Take a look at this. Take a look. I have not seen these anatomy in this under this light for a while. This is a nice bright red. It's just really unfortunate that. They did not work out with uh, the fish in the nano tank, but hopefully we'll find them some nice new home. Ping. And this guy is just kind of loose. Oh, this guy's sticky. Oh, it's like sticking. Look at this. <laughs> this is basically stinging. It's already stinging. Oops. Look at that. Look how stinging. Sting you. So even like my skin is too thick for it to penetrate. But I guess for a little baby clownfish, this is too much. The clownfish could not escape and the sting will kind of paralyze the fish. And that's all she wrote. But you know what? The mannequin. Get off my finger. The anemone just doing what the anemone is supposed to do. God. <laughs> Dang it. I'm trying to make sure it lands right side up, but whatever. Yeah. God. Yeah. Land right side Bang. up. Done. Ew. There it is. All right, we're good to go. So now we're gonna just uh, leave this guy. So I'm gonna push it to the back. Well, I'm gonna leave this guy here, and I'm gonna post up on my local reef club and see if anybody got a tank with no small fish that's willing to um, give these little dudes a try. End of flashback. So all three of these Bally Mini Max Anatomy are out of the 10-gallon budget reef. 
two of them went into 45 gallon tank because all the fish there are big they cannot really harm anything in there and i gave one of them away because of too many with these anemones gone i feel terrible but i really want to get at least one fish into this 10 gallon budget build so we tried another baby clownfish. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Beautiful day in Maryland today. We got Emily right here. We gotta check out one of our local fish store, Tropical Lagoon. And the reason we're here is because like, based on DC Reefers, Instagram story, they have just what we are looking for. This store actually has a long history and at least like 10 plus years ago when I worked in the area, I used to come here really often. This is also the first place that I saw a baby wart skin frogfish. So it's almost coming full circle, finding the fish I'm looking for here. So let's slide over here. Oh, just, oh hey, how's it going? Oh, look at her. Hey. Here they are. Check these out. Look at these, all these baby clownfish. Beautiful Ocellaris clowns. Man. So as you guys know, I added the Ocellaris clown baby to the 10 gallon budget ammo tank before. However, he got taken down by the Valley Mini Max anatomy. As a result, I removed all those anemones from the tank. So now we only have bubble tip anemones and these little dudes do beautiful. The tank has been up for about almost a year at this point and it's really stable. It has been fishless for the most time and right now, I think I think we found the one. Which one do you like, Emily? <laughs> she really liked the miss bars for some reason. Every single time she looked at clownfish, she always pointed to the miss bar. I think the one I really want is, where did he go? That guy right there. Okay. Look at the coloration. Nice dark color, picking at foods. It's really healthy. The perfect it's size to grow out. Perfect size to grow out. Oh, look at that. Neat little guy, too. Oh, it's you can't. Can. Yeah, can tiny one. Smallest one. guy. Hello. Hello. Black storms are you here? I saw them, they look nice. One fifty now, right? Nice. Yeah, so these are really nice, but I'm looking for small clowns. Um, and I feel like for the uh, for tank known as the budget nano, I think a standard Ocellaris clown may fit the bill a little bit better. But I'm definitely keeping an eye out on the Orange Storm, the Mocha Storm, and the Black Storm. They're beautiful fish as well. Emily is still looking at the... Uh... There's something that I don't see every day here. Look at these nice dwarf rainbow fish. Especially blue eyes right there. I really want to dump. But I think the plan to tank is not quite ready to go yet. Since I'm going to rescape it. So we're going to come back later and check out these little guys the red stripe ones i've seen those before never knew what they were beautiful little nano fish awesome and of course one of my favorite freshwater fish celestial prodanios cbd beautiful beautiful fish unfortunately due to the co2 accident i lost my school really sad about it it looks like when I'm ready and if I want to get back into Celestial Cardinals, they do have it here. And these look nice, fat, and healthy. Right, Emily? Huh? Yeah, right. Dude, look at this. Long fin tiger bobs. What? I heard about it. I read about it. This is the first time I've seen this in person. It actually does not look bad. At first, I was bracing myself, but these actually look all right. Oops, I got this trick. So one thing I really like about the store is all these uh, aquascape material right here. Every time I need like thick wood, thick rock, I come here. They have all these selections right here. It's like hidden jam. Like... All right, let's bring shark bait home. With all the blessing from fellow content creators. You're gonna put it. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Okay, okay. no! <laughs> Two hours later. All right, guys. So here we go. I got in my hand the baby clownfish, and the reason I'm using my hand is because number one, I don't want to get the fish stores water into the tank, and number two, the hand is much softer than a net, uh, less abrasion. 
So there he is, like a little guy. So I drifted him for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, but this guy, this little guy is really healthy and the uh, transportation from the store to my house is really quick. It's like a half an hour drive. And as you can see, oh man, he is perfect. So we're gonna let him settle in. The light just kicked on. Um, but I think I'm gonna just, so it looks like he has a quick chance to kind of orient himself. We found the frog spawn, of course. And I'm just gonna shut the light off for about an hour or so for him to settle in before I turn it back on again. Oh man, look at that beautiful little guy. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, hopefully this is it. No more, no more accident, please. Hey guys, the light just came on. Um, so the fish has been in the tank for about an hour. But look at this, he is already out of the corner of my eyes. I saw that it started going into the bubble flip anatomy. Like it didn't really touch it yet, but it's, um, <laughs> this is promising. Well, never mind. I take the back. Looks like he's touching it. He's in. Man, that's awesome. Yo, this, this guy went into the anatomy way faster than even Sharkbait. Uh, Sharkbait took about a day or so. This guy, two hours. This is awesome. Speaking of which, look at the porcelain crab. He has always been in one of the bubble tip anemones and always seems really happy. And whichever anemone he's in, he does keep the sexy shrimps away. Another really interesting thing is that these bubble tip anemones has been alternating between tentacle, like stringy tentacle, to little bubbly tentacles like this. I'm still trying to figure out the rhyme or reason. Um, but I think like whoever figured this out would be a really rich man or woman because that has been one of the big mystery of our hobby. Why do bubble tip anemone bubble up? And when do they do that? Nobody seems to know. Huh. Yeah, dude, what's going on? Look, all oh, the sexy shrimps are clustered together. All seven of them. Yeah, they're all just kind of... Dude, I think they're planning. Planning to, kill it. to assassinate. This little dude, they're like, what is going on? Look at them, all seven of them. Dude, this is like Snow White. And what is that? Oh, warm. Oh, yuck. Yo, this is the most random thing. Uh, so Emily was doing here making zongzi, and then we hear this like frog chirping, right? Or they're singing, and it sounded really close. And it's weird because like the river is all the way down the hill, it's not gonna be this close. So what do we find out? Let me show you guys. So that's a 150 stand. Look at that! Dude, so this is the sump that DC Reefer hooked me up with. Um, it had been sitting outside. But look at this, we got like two frogs right in here. What the heck, man? End of flashback. And I'm really careful this time because I feel like I named my clownfish too early. It also gave some bad juju. So this is one of those Chinese culture thing. Like if your name is too awesome, um, the babies have trouble living up to the name. So usually some of these uh, more traditional Chinese family, they name the baby something a little bit less awesome and they may change their name a little bit later once the baby's like grown up and healthy. And once it seems healthy and large, then we'll figure our name out. Well, speaking of healthy, this little clownfish is super healthy. I got him from Tropical Lagoon because DC Reefer was there a day before and he was like, yo man, there's some like, like nice little baby clownfish. I was like, all right, I'm there. Now that the carpet and anemone are out of the way, this tank should be clownfish safe. And sure enough, this baby clownfish has been doing awesome in this tank. The only hiccup we got is that on the second night. Hey guys, um, seems like we simply cannot catch a break with this tank right here. The reason I'm saying this, this is now uh, day two. Look, little clownfish doing beautifully in this tank, playing nicely with Chairman Bao, the porcelain crab underneath it. However, if you look really carefully, it looks like he got egg. Uh, this is actually the first time one of my fish got egg in the 10 plus years of me keeping fish. I'm gonna give him a day or two to see if the natural immune system can kick the egg and see how it goes. If not, I may have to set up a tiny tank and do some medication and then leave this tank empty for two to three months. My God, can can you imagine? Two days later. Hey guys, it has been two days since the ache outbreak, but look at this. That little guy is clean as a whistle. 
Basically, the morning after all the egg mysteriously all disappeared, I honestly don't know what's going on. I'm not even sure if it's egg or not. Some people say that it may just be stungs from corals and anemone and stuff like that. And other people say it's different types of um, parasites, uh, not, not eggs. Uh, I did not really have time to look into it yet. So if you have an idea, please leave a comment. I would love to hear what you think, but I'll do a little bit more research on it in case it does come back. Little clownfish is looking really healthy and <laughs> seems to be playing well with the porcelain crab. While we're over here, take a look at this. All the rose bubble tip anatomy decided to kind of cluster in one corner to form a rose bubble tip garden, which I do not mind at all. I wish it was to stay there a lot longer because this looks nice. That's actually what I want. And the porcelain crab, or crab of it, of course. And we got, I believe, six sexy shrimps the last time I counted a couple of days ago. I don't think I've done a size comparison, but take a look. Here's my, here's my finger. I want to show you how, just how small this little fish is. This tiny, tiny little guy. Look at this dime size in length tiny little fella cute 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 little guy um so for now we're just gonna have one um not sure if i want to add another clown to this tank yet uh, because the tank is not that big it's 10 gallon um so we'll see maybe i'll hold out for um a, a clown fish that looks really different or has a really strong personality but for now we got this one little clown fish so guys this 10 gallon nano build is going strong i feel like the tank has finally stabilized Everything is looking beautiful, open up, it's balanced. I am ready to rock the boat and start adding more corals into this tank. I think the tank is ready. So if you want to keep up to date on this tank and as well as other tank builds, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And on your way out, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Shop. Oh my god, look who's actually helping out. <laughs>